tell me how does new media kind of work its way into uh, what you want to present in your program? The first um, program is called Once Upon a Time. It's obviously all fairy tale music. And um, we open with uh, a, a suite from Sleeping Beauty by Tchaikovsky. And um, we have uh, a local painter and artist, Lee Zimmerman, who is a silk painter. Um, he will be joining us for this. And there will be big panels of silk stretched in front of the orchestra. And he will paint the story. He will tell the story of Sleeping Beauty through his painting, uh, which he creates live as the orchestra plays the Tchaikovsky's music. Um, for the second piece, um, uh, that is a suite from Cinderella by Prokofiev. I, I took the um, original grim fairy tale of Cinderella and then I cut it down a little bit and I changed it a little bit to my needs. And then I put that with the music. It's about 25 minutes uh, of music and we start out with grandpa saying once upon a time and then the music starts and he continues to tell you the story um, in between the movements or sometimes even over the music. Um, so it's a completely different way to listen to the ballet music, but also to listen to the fairy tale. And um, for the final piece of that particular program, the Stravinsky Firebirds, it's a Russian fairy tale, um, we're planning on um, having live projection of the orchestra, close-ups of the orchestra, uh, on the big screen above us. Um, you know, oftentimes, um, when, I, uh, when I see um, audience members and patrons after our concerts, they say, oh, it's great. I wish I could see better what the musicians looks like, look like when they actually perform. And so we're giving them that opportunity. So those are a couple of you know, multimedia, if you want, aspects that we are adding to the music um, in order really to you know, just reach out to, uh, to broader audiences. and. Um, I think our message wants to be that you know you don't you don't need to know anything about classical music in order to enjoy it.